Years ago, there was a really popular drawing challenge. You had to draw the same motif in 10 minutes, 1 minute and 10 seconds. And uh, yeah, several variations of that. And I thought what I always think. I could make a game out of it. So I created my totally original game dev challenge where you have to make the same game in 1 hour, 10 minutes and 1 minute. I started with the art for my 1 hour game with the aim of making it somewhat decent looking. I planned to make a Spider-Man game, so I began by the city skyline for the background. I drew multiple layers so I can later have a nice parallax effect, but the visuals caused a lot of trouble. In my mind those windows looked nice, but they actually really looked awful, so I needed to delete them again, losing a lot of time. Drawing a simple Spider-Man model on the other hand was fairly easy. But creating the obstacles was a complete different story. I tried a lot, but they just did not seem to fit to the background at all. After way too much time, I decided that I need to go with what I have or I won't be able to finish the game in time. Importing everything to Unity quickly, I created the game scene and began to slap my Spider-Man together. The problem, I had no idea what kind of joints to use to make a good 2D ragdoll. I started with spring joints, which was kind of weird and afterwards changed to hinge joints, hoping that they would work better. Time to create the one script that I need. The Spider-Man script that allows you to shoot a web to the obstacle when you click at them and pull Spidey towards them. I've already done similar stuff, so this shouldn't be a problem. Or, well, maybe it is. Let's just fix that and... Uh, yeah... This took way too much time and I guess proper planning is key if you want to do a challenge like this. If you have only one hour to make a game, you probably shouldn't experiment too much. But it worked eventually and I feared that hinge joints are not what I was looking for. So let's get back to spring joints and this is much better as you can see. <laughs> oh damn it. But with the correct spring value, I got the result I was looking for. With not much time left, I made the camera following Spider-Man and increased the world size. The problem, Spider-Man decided to shoot his webs out of his armpits, which might be a nice superpower, but doesn't really look as awesome as it sounds. So I used my last minutes to fix that, finalize the level and the time was up. For a one hour game, the result is uh, okay. Playing around is actually quite fun, even though I didn't manage to create a goal for the player or points or losing condition or anything else a game usually has. I also had no time for the products effect and the different background layers are a little bit tough. After the time was up, I just quickly fixed this so I had a somewhat finished version of my one hour game and uh, yeah, you can see it now. <laughs> hmm, yeah, <laughs> great. Well, let's see what I can do in 10 minutes. Okay. For my 10 minute version of the game, I quickly started with the art. After that and downloading all the essential Unity stuff, it was time for scripting. Well, I basically just copied the script from my one hour game, but I'm not very fast at typing. That's why this process took me 4 minutes of my precious time. The way the script works is pretty easy. When you click the mouse, a ray cast is performed from the arm to the position of the mouse. A ray cast is like a laser shooting at the target direction and telling you what it hit or not hit. And if the ray cast hits an object, the line renderer is enabled so we have our little spider web. We also apply a force to Spidey which drags him towards the target and we do so until you release the mouse button. With the script done, I just quickly created the character model, added all the essentials and time was up. And here is our beautiful 10 minute version of the game. Hey. 
But now I have to make this in one minute. Is that even possible? Huh. Let's find out. To make things easier for me, I already created the project and a script, but I haven't written anything, so let's start now. Okay, so let's start with scripting. To be more exact, I start by getting the mouse position and save it in a vector 3. I do so by taking the camera.main.screen to world point and as the input I get the mouse position. Afterwards, I set the z axis of this mouse position to 0 to don't get in any trouble. Afterwards, I do an if statement, check if the left mouse button is pressed and if so, we will perform our raycast. Um, we do so by saving the to the hit variable of raycast to hit 2D and for the raycast we take the position of the game object as well as the direction to the mouse and if the hit collider is not null so if we hit an object we need to get our rigid body by get component and add some force. The force we add is a vector and we have to calculate it so we use the term form for dot position and oh no my time is already or I need to be uh, writing but I will still finish the script. So we add this force, normalize it, uh, multiply it by minus 20. This value was good in the other games so I will take it. Back to Unity, I need to create two sprite objects, one for the player and one for the object we will raycast us on. So the player object will be circle, the other object is uh, square. We will increase the square size so it's not that small and now we just need to add the box collider to the square and for the player we need to add our script as well as the rigid body and the game is done after way too much time yay <laughs> and here is the final one minute game yay <laughs> great it's not really looking like the one hour game anymore but i guess that's fine Actually, if you play it in a way that your goal is to keep the little circle on screen, it's kind of fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed the challenge and I would love to see you trying it out. If you want me to make a complete Spider-Man game out of the one hour version, tell me in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more stupid challenges like this and other game dev related videos. I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.